Hi, I'm Matt, one of the Youth Faith Formation Ministers here at Holy Family. Today was supposed to be the start of my favorite golf tournament, the U.S. Open. I love the U.S. Open for many reasons. First, I love that absolutely anyone can play in it. It's the only professional tournament that is open to the public. All you have to do is play your way in. But that's not the only reason why I love it. I love that it's typically the hardest golf tournament of the year. The USGA tries to set up the course so that par is a great score and the winner is usually only a few strokes under or over par. Professional golfers make the game look so easy week in and week out. It's nice to see them look a little human and struggle a little bit now and then. Walking off of a green being happy with a par or a bogey is a feeling I can relate to. Walking away after making five straight birdies is not something many of us will ever experience. The final reason I love the Open is that it ends on Father's Day every year. Golf was something my dad and I always enjoyed together. Even if our relationship off the course was going through a rough patch, on the course none of that mattered. Some of my happiest memories as a kid were with my dad on the golf course. Each Father's Day, we would sit on the couch together watching the end of the Open. He's been gone for 14 years now, and I still cherish those final rounds with him. Now, as a father myself, I can continue that tradition with my own kids. Finding those precious moments to spend together will create memories that will last a lifetime. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we won't be able to watch the U.S. Open this year, but that won't keep us from making memories. What are some of your favorite memories, either as a parent or with your parents? The bond between a father and his children is so special because it mirrors the bond that our Heavenly Father has with his children, each and every one of us. It wasn't until my first child was born that I truly learned what self-sacrificial love actually was. There is nothing that I wouldn't do as a parent for my children to keep them safe and healthy and to make sure they know that they are loved. The self-sacrificial love that I have for my children is just a small glimpse of the love the Heavenly Father has for us. If I'm willing to do so much for my children, how much more will the Father do for us? John 3.16 says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that all who believed in him shall not perish but have eternal life. God loves all of us so much that he sacrificed his son that we may be saved and free. This weekend, let us share that fatherly love with everyone that we meet. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, both here on earth and in heaven. And in a special way, happy Father's Day to our Heavenly Father. Thank you for loving us and for giving us the gift of life. God bless.